So if you thought the Premier League had some tough tackles, check out the Uzbekistan U22 national team. My goodness, there's some absolute belters of a tackle in this game. Take a look here. 후반 32분 강상우는 공중 발차기를 당해 들 것에 실려 나갔습니다. So from flying kicks to the neck slash chest uh, to just full-blown rocky punches being thrown, the Uzbekistan national team did not take well to lose into South Korea. And uh, what it seemed is like a friendly cup going on with these uh, the younger national teams, but it was just nuts watching these kids. Like, yes, we're used to some tough tackles and we're used to some violent violence going on, but um, it was just the sheer like aggression that they were showing off the ball like that. The instance there when the uh, two red cards were, uh, must be stated, two red cards were given. But the second red card, like, it was just a little tussle on the bottom of the, on, on the corner of the field and he gets up and he just swings two haymakers and catches the poor South Korean in the face and then gets sent off and then looks at referees as if to think, what, what did I do? And then walks off. Like, I've never seen anything like it in my life. So the Uzbekistan national team are definitely one to look out for in the future if they bring up these young, uh, these youthful players into their system. And they'll be one will be, they'll definitely be the violent sort when growing up. So uh, make sure to check out the full video. It's on, we got it from Deadspin. Uh, I think that tackle reminded me of Nigel de Gong and his tackle uh, during the World Cup against Spain. I mean, these things do happen. Sometimes you don't know whether they go to the ball with your head or your foot. And it just looks a lot more violent than it is. But no excuse, red card for that and also a red card for the punches. So uh, back to the drawing board for the Uzbekistan national team, probably back to the gym to try out some more of the punching bag and the fastball, whatever else they're training.